My name is Eric Guptitz and I'm the principal of Mission High School. And if I'm thinking about the question of how can I prevent violence in my community or how can we collectively collect, uh, prevent violence in our community, I first of all think about the youth. And I think that, you know, since so much violence does take place, particularly in the age range around 19, 20, 21, 22, I think it's incumbent upon our high school students to start thinking about the ideas of peace, the ideas of not getting weapons, not getting, um, not, not um, focusing on violence in the community and really thinking about how we can get along with each other. I also think it's incumbent upon the adults in our community to really look at where are the jobs for youth? Why, why are there no economic prospects and why are we not supporting our youth in finding meaningful things to do after high school and after school, particularly so that maybe we can reduce violence. And then the last thing is I think around laws and thinking about how easy access it is to guns and knives in our community and how if we change that, we might be able to control some of this violence. Thank you. If I could change something in the community, I would turn the negatives into positives. If I could do something for my community, I would build more shelters for the homeless. If I can change my school, I would change the colors. Something I would change in my community would be how people act. If there was one thing I would change in my community, it would be making the houses better. If I could change something about my community, it would be changing the timings of the 33 Muni. If there was one thing I could change in my community, I would have more teachers for the ROTC program. If I could change anything at my school, I would give the school more money so we can have more electives. If I could change something about my community, I would probably plant more trees. Tree TV. Trees provide shed and shelter. As a result, we can't without tree. We should protect them. Tree is the spirit of the earth, as same as the people can live without spirits. Los árboles y las plantas son muy importantes para el planeta. Hi, I'm Sofia. Hi, I'm Amanda. We're from Out of Sight. I started there as a student and now I work there. <laughs> Hi, I teach the video production class there. and We're here to tell you about um, a really great opportunity for the spring semester. Out of Sight is an after school arts program and we offer digital media, black and white photography, acting, printmaking, Architecture, drama, and bass, yeah, percussion, music production, 
Mm. That's it. That's it. For this frame. Mm -hmm. And we're really excited about the music production class in particular because we have partnered with SF Jazz and we're going to be taking all of our spring students from the percussion and music class to the SF Jazz professional studios to work with them there. Um, we're also really excited about the black and white photography students get to work at Reiko Darkroom downtown where they get to hand process their film and print. And also, the printmaking students uh, recently wrote a grant and created their own print shop. So it's a youth-run print shop where they get to make t-shirts and all kinds of prints. Yeah. So if you're interested in learning about, um, learning really in depth on how to use these different mediums, architecture, black and white photography, digital media, music, percussion, um, or theater, Please join out of site, sign up here. It is free, it's after school, you get elective credit. Also there's opportunity for paid internships. You can get paid by being a teaching assistant, uh, being a youth leader on the youth advisory board, or working for us in our summer internship. So this is what it looks like. We are at www.outofsite, that, that's S-I-T-E dash S-F at dot org. Yes. We hope to see you there. Okay, thanks. So every, every winter, people get sick. Whether it's a flu or a cold or what, every single winter you can count on it, people get sick. This year though, it seems more people are getting sick. A lot of people have colds. Um, the difference between the flu and a cold, when you have a cold, you have a runny nose, you have a bit of a cough, sort of a dry, irritated throat, and um, you feel lousy. When you have, and your mucus is clear, it's usually clear. The flu, you're really sick. You feel incredibly tired, can't get out of bed. Uh, you lose interest in everything. Most people run a pretty high fever, um, 101, 102. People have coughs, um, a lot of congestion. The big deal is though that they're just sick. There's, they're sick. Most important, and I highly recommend it, for older people, for people with any kind of a chronic condition, if you have bad asthma, if you have any kind of a problem with your immune system, you definitely want to get a flu shot. And it's also recommended for people who are around a lot of people, and that would be all of us. <laughs> to prevent yourself from getting the flu, the number one thing you can do is wash your hands. Everything you touch is full of germs, and like it or not, you put your hands near your face. We all do, and those germs get in your mouth, and you can um, contaminate yourself. Wash your hands. Please get plenty of rest. Your whole body fights infection much, much, much better if it's rested. Well hydrated, your body needs fluids and uh, good food. Your basic health, take care of yourself. And if you feel really sick, more than what you consider a common cold, please don't come to school. Stay home and rest. That goes for staff as well as students.
so we can prevent violence in our community by just like stepping up. If you guys see someone being bullied, just like step up and just stop the hate raid. Just um, speak, I mean, use words to communicate. I think we can prevent violence by first raising awareness of violence. I think we can prevent violence by like, just speaking to each other, you know? Like, well, first you gotta, first you gotta think about what you're doing to other people first. I would prevent violence in my community is to stand up for people being bullied. How to prevent violence in my community? I don't, I don't think it's possible to prevent it fully, but I think we can limit it. One thing I could do to prevent violence in my community is uh, give hugs. I want to stop the violence in my community by taking guns from people. I don't think you can prevent violence, but you can start by just spreading the word and showing how it affects people in your community. 